triple echo there for a sec. Uh, so first up, first order of business, we're talking about film in 2017. The most recent episode of Huber Syndrome was about movies coming out in 2017. Uh, mostly blockbusters, you know, because the, uh, the little stuff doesn't get announced until so much later. Like, I know P.T. Anderson is coming out with, like, a fashion movie with Daniel Day-Lewis, but, you know, nothing nothing on that yet. Logan. Okay. Otori. Starting out right. Starting out right. I didn't really get to mention Logan. Or John Wick 2. What am, what am I thinking? This is why I have... Talking Syndrome, one, because I love talking to you all, and two, because you tell me what's what. How did I not talk about John Wick 2? What the hell am I doing? <sighs> John Wick 2, so the first John Wick, confirm the kill. Love it. Uh, so, John Wick 2, I need the, the catchphrase. What is it? No. Here it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. John Wick has the best catchphrases. The first movie's, like, tagline was, Don't set him off. John Wick 2 is, Never stab the devil in the back. <laughs> Love it. John Wick hype. What I love about uh, what I love about John Wick Two is there was initial doubt that the writer director would return. They're all back, same director, same writer, Keanu. Freaking hype! Never stab the devil in the back. John Wick John Wick Two is the Matrix fourth Matrix movie. Oh, Zephyr Moon. You gotta watch John Wick immediately. Right now. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Where can we watch John Wick, chat? John Wick 1. Is that on like uh, Amazon Prime or something? You ever use the site Can I Stream It? Good site. Can I Stream It.com? John Wick, where are you? Digital rental, not streaming. You can rent it for $3. Excellent. Three bucks. Best $3 you'll ever spend, mark my words. Gay Vulture, I will get your question. Do not worry. We're, we're here for a little while. If Stanley Kubrick was still alive and hadn't retired yet, do you think he would still be innovative in setting the example for modern film? Or would he lose his touch from the way the film industry is today? You know, I'd love to see a Stanley Kubrick TV show. Um, I think, like, true auteurs like Soderbergh, Scorsese, they have, uh, you know entered that field there's no way he would have lost his touch or became less innovative because for 50 years he was making classic films he he never he never didn't didn't have it so yeah i th i'd love to see a stanley kubrick tv show like uh, like the nick soderbergh style Scripture, yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming is hype. Um, love the love the trailer. Love the trailer. Um, Michael Keaton as Vulture looks really intense. Cause I love when it, I love when superhero movies are all like light and jolly, like Marvel, and then Michael Keaton is like, if you come near me, I'll kill you. Like raising the stakes just with one line. Mark VDV saw La La Land last night, was wondering your opinion on that movie. 
I really enjoyed La La Land. Um, I've seen Train Spotting. Don't worry. Don't worry. Of course. Um, shit. Danny Boyle. There it is. Danny Boyle, one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters, for sure. Uh, La La Land, though. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I thought it was... Uh, I can't really say it without... Without spoiling it. So I will, I will avoid that. BW Patton, you down for the new Power Rangers movie? Yeah, I'd like to see... Uh, I'd like to hear the... the yeah, perfect. Perfect. Perfection. B.W. Patton. It is time for the Daily Straw Poll. The old Straw Poll. Because I'm curious. This is a great question. Great, great question. Straw poll coming to you. I want to see Stanley Kubrick's take on a superhero film. Yeah, for sure. Who knows what he'd be doing? Um, yeah. That's why I love artificial intelligence. Because I always have that feeling of like, I, I want one more Stanley Kubrick movie. I want one more Stanley Kubrick movie. And artificial intelligence is like, all right, he, he may be dead, but here is something reminiscent. If you haven't seen artificial intelligence AI, it is uh, an idea from Stanley Kubrick's notebooks. Uh, he wanted to make that film for a very long time. And when he passed away, his like best friend, one of his only friends, Steven Spielberg, picked up the pieces and made that movie in his honor. Uh, so it's like this Spielberg Kubrick collaboration. I highly recommend it. So, uh, Strumple, are you hyped for Power Rangers? Majority no. The majority no. 57 no's, 34 yeses, 63% to 37%. Sorry, Power Rangers. All right, here we go. Here's, here's. We're getting double straw pulled. Now we're getting, now we're getting nuts. You want to get nuts? Let get, let's get nuts. Because this is the way the film industry works. This is the way. This is the way we all work, Chet. Gigolo Joe, warm coat. Gigolo Joe! Such a good character. <laughs> Alright, you got me. You got me, chat. You got me good. So the first one was, are you hyped for Power Rangers? 63% or sixty-three percent saying no. Second star poll was, will you see Power Rangers? 63% still no. <laughs> oh, all right. So no, no Power Rangers. I'm definitely going to say Train Spotting 2, like midnight show for Train Spotting 2. That's what kind of, that's what kind of movie that is. Oh, yeah. That's like a, my dad and I go to the... 10 p.m. showing Thursday night after like hitting the bar before. <laughs> Power Rangers. I don't even like Power Rangers. I was never big on it growing up. You know, especially my my age. I'm 29. If you liked Power Rangers when I was a kid, you got made fun of. So I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I want to be cool. I don't I don't watch Power Rangers. Man. Bullying in school is absurd. I had no shame though. I watched I watched WWF as a kid, so Train Spotting 2, I hope. 
We haven't really talked about Logan. Very excited about Logan. Get Last of Us vibes, which I'm always down for. Um, I think this is going to be the one. I really think this is going to be going to be the Wolverine tale of all Wolverine tales. It looks like Oscar worthy. Um, good director. Good story. I'm also 31. I loved Power Rangers. Uh, my hype for the Royal Rumble is a 10 out of 10. The last of Hugh. Hugh Jackman retiring as as Wolverine makes me so sad, but it's got to happen, you know? You got to let him move on. Um, how many is this? Is this like 9 or 10? Jeez. Oh, did you just see that uh, Brian Singer is going to direct the first episode of the new X-Men show? And not Legion. So Legion is coming out. Legion chat, if it's not on your radar, put it on your radar immediately. It's going to be on FX. It is an X-Men show. It has Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey. From the creators of Fargo. Not, not the Coen brothers. The, the TV show creators of Fargo. Um, so there's Legion. And now there's going to be a, an X-Men show on Fox. Um, and Brian Singer doing a show. Get hyped. Get hyped. I'm so excited. Tomorrow's going to be one of the best days of my entire life. I'm watching the Royal Rumble and then seeing Resident Evil, the final chapter with Brad Ellis. Dragging him along. It's funny. I've been like, hey, Brad, you, you should... Uh, you should catch up on the Resident Evil movies. You should, you should watch them all. He's like, I'm not doing that. He's like, I'll read a, a wiki for the last one. Ugh. It's funny. Fargo TV. You're right, Vega Bison. Fargo TV show is a flawless masterpiece. Yeah, tomorrow's the best. Tomorrow's the best day. Date night with Brad. Absolutely. Get hyped. Ah. Oh. All right, everyone.